Jasmine, one of our cyber security consultants, and she's going to talk us through the Foreign Office hack that happened last week and that broke the news. So Jasmine, potentially could this be a new concern for all businesses in 2022? I'd say it's definitely something that we need to um, take into consideration and really take seriously. Um, we've got the potential of nation state hackers going out um, against other states to gather potential information for political reasons. But then also, I'd say that other small businesses are at risk as well, and it's time to start taking cybersecurity seriously. Um, so, what, so, what businesses do you think is the most vulnerable? Like smaller businesses, bigger businesses, or just like in general? All I'd businesses? say the, the small businesses um, because they've probably got less of a budget for cybersecurity. Um, yes, yeah, so they're more like to attack. Yeah, so they're going to have more uh, vulnerabilities probably exposed that they possibly don't even know about. Um, whereas the you know, nation states can invest a lot more into, into the defences. So, how can the Foreign Office prevent this from happening again? Um, it's difficult to say really, but definitely um, investing in more penetration testing, um, getting defence assessment, IT health checks, things like that, and just um, trying to ensure that all the security is up to standards. And what can what can people do like every day, like individuals? What can they what can they do to to protect themselves? Like those that aren't necessarily in businesses, but just like individuals that want to protect themselves. What can they do? People at home, um, I would say definitely keeping your passwords a lot more secure, keeping things up to date, that's always something that people get caught out on is if you've got um, software that's out of date or unsupported and you might not even realise it. Um, but yeah, things like that, password be best practices um, and just trying to um, not be pressing on things that you don't believe are true like emails and things like that because then you can you know, move forward and get your credentials stolen which can turn into a much worse attack. So what sort of advice would you give for passwords? Like what sort of... If you could give us three things that you would recommend about um, passwords. Not using something common and definitely using a mixture of a range of um, big letters and small letters and numbers and things like that. And if you can, symbols. Um, and keeping them as long as you possibly can. Yes, yeah, so it's like less guessable. Yeah, you don't want to be using something that's um, quite obvious or even just a, a word because they can be... Um, uh, what do you call it? Unencrypted, sorry. Um, and cracked, so you want to not be using something like a common word. Maybe use things like um, the word letters that would stand for it. So maybe um, I have a big dog, you would put I H B D like that yeah. instead of writing out the word. And like also maybe like replacing letters with numbers and just yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, definitely that's a great idea. Um, like A with an at sign or one with an exclamation mark. Perfect. Um, well, thank you, Jasmine, for talking us through that. Um, join us next week when we will be talking about the next major news story with Emin. Thank you.